Hey there friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another WWE pay-per-view predictions video and this time it is for Extreme Rules. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Um, Extreme Rules on this evening, or the evening that this video goes live, which is... Sunday the 15th. As always in these videos I'm going to do my predictions for who I think is going to win each match. So we're going to start with the Raw Women's Championship which is Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax and this is an Extreme Rules match so there's no disqualifications, no count outs and also Ronda Rousey is going to be at ringside. Um, I think Nia Jax is going to win this match simply because I think, not, think that although Mickey James may get involved for Alexa I think Nia Jax is going to get involved. Um, after Alexa got involved with her and Nia's match at whatever the last pay-per-view was. Um, so I th think Nia's going to win because Ronda's going to get involved and do something to Alexa. And then the next pay-per-view will be Nia versus Ronda. The next match on the card is AJ Styles versus um, Rusev for the WWE Championship over on SmackDown. I think Rusev's going to win this. Um, Rusev hasn't been... They've been pushing Rusev quite a bit over the last sort of year um, with Rusev Day and his like sort of collab with Aiden English and I think he's not really had like much of a singles run recently in the last few years and the way they've been pushing him I think is really kind of making it seem like he's going to be up in for a title run at some point and I think he is a really strong contender of someone that can easily probably beat um, AJ Styles, I think Rusev is going to win this one, it's a bit of an upset. The next match is the Raw Tag Team Championships, that's Bray, Hart, Bray Hardy, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy versus the B Team of Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. Sorry, I've got the card up on my laptop here if I keep looking at it. Um, I think this is going to be a massive upset and I think Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel are going to win. Um, I don't really like the tag team of Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy anyway. And I think the B team, the B team is unbeaten so far and I think it's a massive upset. Like they've been kind of a bit of a joke but I think Rhino and Heath, is it, was it Heath Slater? I think that was who Rhino was partnered with and they won the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I think they're going to do a similar thing with Bo and Curtis as they did with them. Um, and I think they've been they've been pushing this sort of unbeaten streak that the B team have had, and I, I think they're going to win. Just as a bit of an upset, just a bit of a joke, as someone different, and then that will then leave space for for maybe one of the new tag teams to come in and beat them. Next match is the SmackDown Women's Championship, which is Oscar versus Carmella, and James Ellsworth is going to be suspended um, in a shark cage above the ring. I want Oscar to win, I think Oscar should win, but I think there's going to be, again, some heebie-jeebie hijinks games kind of played, um, especially to do with James Ellsworth being in the shark cage above the ring. I really want, want Oscar to win, I think it's her time for a bit of a women's title run, or this is like Oscar's last shot and somebody else gets to go with Carmella but either way I think James Ellsworth being in the shark cage is anyone's best chance of beating Carmella because otherwise she she basically has it like is, is, is a tag team but you know what I'm gonna put it out there I'm gonna say I think Oscar's gonna win um and then kind of start her women's championship run maybe leading up to like SummerSlam or something um, leading up to like a big match, maybe against, Com against Charlotte or um, Becky Lynch or someone at SummerSlam. The next match is the SmackDown Tag Team Championships of the Bludgeon Brothers who are the current championships, which is um, Eric Rowan, no, is it Harper and Rowan, I can't remember what their first names are, um, and against Team Hal No of Daniel Bryan and Kane. <sighs> I was kind of this was one of the most unexpected things that's happened in a while for me because I was expecting it to kind of turn into a Bludgeon Brothers versus Sanity kind of ru um, grudge run for a while um, and then Kane came back. Part of me that I really want the Bludgeon Brothers to win just because I really want to see the Bludgeon Brothers against Sanity. Um, I think that'll be like an incredible match um, but I think because it's Daniel Bryan, because it's Kane, because it's Team Hell No, they will probably win. 
The next match is a 30 minute Ironman match between Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship over on Raw. Um, I want Seth to win. I love Seth as the Intercontinental Champion. I love Seth in general, really. But I think because Ziggler has got Drew McIntyre on his side, it's like an extra pair of hands. So it's basically like a two on one match. I just don't think that unless, say, Roman Reigns comes and helps or Dean Ambrose makes a return, I just don't think Seth Rollins can win on in a two on one in that way, especially with it being like a 30 man Iron Man match. Next match on the card is Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. I do not care about this match. I used to love Ro Roman Reigns, but it, he, he has just become so overplayed as I don't even know as what. And Bobby Lashley, again, I really don't care. I kind of I think I'd like it if Reigns won, just because I want to see Reigns like a good position, either going for like the Intercontinental title or the Universal title. Um, but. I really don't care to be honest. The next match is for the United States Championship and that's Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I'm actually quite looking forward to this match because I feel like they're quite well suited and matched against each other. I think it'd be really interesting to see Shinsuke Nakamura as a champion. Um, I, 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 you know, obviously he was a champion at NXT but I've not seen him as a champion kind of on um, the main roster. Um, I think Nakamura's going to win. I don't think... I think, yeah, I think Nakamura's going to win. The next match is a single ma singles match over from Raw, and that is Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. I love both these guys. These are two of my favourites. They came up around the same time from NXT, and I absolutely love them both. Um, I, I honestly don't mind who wins, and I don't think there's a clear option either for who wins. Part of me thinks it might be Baron Corbin, just because he's they're trying to big up the whole Constable Corbin thing. Um... But equally, you know, David versus Goliath, Finn Balor could win. Um, but thinking it could be Baron Corbin just to kind of keep playing on this Constable Corbin and his dominant vibe thing. The next match is one which I didn't even know was happening, and this is Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens in a steel cage match. Um, Braun's gonna win unless Kevin can pull something. Whether whether Sami Zayn comes back or somebody comes back and helps him but I just don't see how he can win and maybe that's why he will win but I just don't see how he can win he's been absolutely destroyed by Strowman these last like this last month in every match they've had really and I just think mentally he's not there and I just don't see how he can win it especially in a steel cage match to be honest or unless as I say he pulls something horrendously clever and then the final match which i think is going to be on the kickoff show is one which i am so so excited about and that is a tables match between sanity and the new day on smackdown and um, this might be the first time that i actually watch a um pre-show because this i'm look, really looking forward to this match um, I don't know why, I just really like Sanity as a, as a stable. They really, although I did tweet this recently, that they really, really remind me, if you kind of think that the Wyatt family and the Shield, if they had a baby, I feel like that's Sanity. Um, I'm really interested to see this match though, because I think the New Day and Sanity are so, so different that it'll just be really, really interesting to see. Um, I want Sanity to win. I think they will win just because they're so new and they're, they're being painted as this really dominant crazy stable that I just don't see how the New Day can win but they could but I don't think they will so yeah Sanity's my pick for that one. So those are my predictions for the 2018 Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Let me know in the comments what your predictions are, who you think is going to win, who you think is going to lose, I think I was right and um, all that sort of thing. Let's have a chat. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you did and I shall see you guys soon. Bye.